What is going on, X community? Exo Stomp here, and today, people, we're going to be doing the Mega Agron Power Rankings. And joining me is going to be Burger, DDA, and Marshy. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just start. I know you were humming the theme. All right, guys, you want to introduce yourselves? No. No. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm DDA. What's up, guys? Oh, there you go. We got one. All right. <laughs> I hate you guys. All right, anyways. So <laughs> I'm also Burger. Good. Yeah, I'm also Burger. Oh, okay, so we got Burger and Burger. Also, all, right. all right, so we got Burger and also Burger. Yeah. All right. All right, so first team, we're going to go over Chungus's team. And uh, most, most people put them around last. Uh, but does anyone want to talk about them first? This team is awful. I nominate also burger. <laughs> whoa, 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 no, I don't want to talk about this team. I don't like talking about the shit ones. No, no, no. no I'm burger. also burger. No, Marcy's you're, you're also burger. burger. You guys are confusing oh, okay. me. I nominate also burger. Go, go, Marcy. Okay. This, this burger. team, this team is entirely awful. Why? Give me an actual reason. Okay. Yeah, Trickman <laughs> is not viable whatsoever. It's sad that Toxicity was not given the right support. Yeah, I also said Trick Room is unviable. Uh, so, his grab is an Eldegoss, which is the most unviable pick on his team. Like, I think Hakamo is gonna come to more games <laughs> and like, do more things than it. Yeah, you um, see, what I'm seeing is the issue with this team. It is it's gonna struggle with the very common thing that all low-tier teams don't want to struggle with, and that's Hazards plus Knockoff. And it's just not gonna deal with those at all, because Pete, the, the top four or five don't want to switch into a knockoff. And those top five kind of have to come to every game because that Zatu is the only way to stop rocks and spikes from going up. And if rocks and spikes go up, then the Persian's not pivoting. The Marowak's got no switch ins. The P2 is not pivoting. Yeah, so, yeah, the top like, five is weak to knockoff. I feel like Persian has to come to every game just to be an answer for knockoff. Okay. Not yeah, really, and also has to come. Right? Um, not like, necessarily. If right, he, he doesn't want to change knockoff. Tough. Or if he just does tough. knockoff switch in. The, the issue with this team is this team realistically wants to bring the top five to every game, and then it's going to want to bring either one of Persian or Durant for speed control. Which mm -hmm. means it never has room for Eldegoss, which means that you have, like, no real support for Toxicity in the first place. Mm -hmm. Do you have to run Seismitoad to break any kind of ground type? Yeah, which, yeah, I also, yeah, just like on the rules of breakers, I just feel like, like other than Toxicity, your breakers are... Uh, slower than a scarfer at, at that point. I don't know, Durant, 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 Durant breaks. Well, nothing can hit hard. The Marowak can't. Oh, yeah, the uh, Marowak's Marowak, slow, but. Marowak's slow, but it hits very hard. Like, I, I, I guess it's fine for Trick. I, don't know I mean, breakers are the issue. I just think the issue with the team is just how it's just well, gonna struggle. Like, if it falls behind in momentum early, especially if things get knocked off and ha or hazards go up, like, this team has nowhere to go. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, think that, I don't even think Trick Room well. is viable. Even, let, let's pretend Trick Room is viable, right? Even if Trick Room is viable, they only have one abuser. Yeah. The like, thing is, it's the, not like, fully five, Trick Room. It's five. it's P2, Marowak, Alola. That's, like, the Trick Room. Sure, Zadu can set up Trick Room, but that's not why it's there. I, I don't like the P2, Alola, and Marowak core. You're putting a whole core that puts a, one gimmick that's super weak to knock off in one. Like, mm -hmm. I think you're you're setting yourself up for failure. When your core has so many common weaknesses like that, and I also feel like you just so many points on Zatu with it. On the teleport, you just click. Stop I mean, because it's either going to pass or teleport, right? But let's let Exo <laughs> talk. What What is your opinion, Mister Exo Stomp? Because you still gave it twelfth. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's why it's eleventh uh, place. It, we are tied with another team here, uh, but I will say that. Uh, the only reason is mainly because Halu put Chungus at fourth. Um, but yeah, you you guys will see. Uh, if you really want to just follow uh, with a specific person's individual ranks or whatever, you can just look uh, on the side and you'll see all of our individual ranks. But yeah, I guess that's it for Chungus' team. Honestly, I think Trick Room is fine, but it doesn't have the right support because a lot of these lower tier like the, the bottom three, I don't think are coming to many, if any, games. I mean, I've seen Chungus uh, run the lower tier mons, but uh, I just, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. Agreed. All right. Moral of the story, draft better. Draft better. <laughs> All 
All right, let's go on to the next team here, which is Total Dial Hot Spurs. Uh, anyone want to start off here? Nice seven-month roster. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Oh, this... <laughs> okay, so... I don't see any of the other ones. I, 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 I will one start with why I thought this team was complete garbage. Like, I gave this team last. So, my issue with this team is how much it's trying. Like, first off, it's a seven-month roster. And second, how much this team relies on some months. Like, for one reason, Shaman is, like, the sole mon that's going to be checking, like, ground. It's your sole mon that'll be checking water, because your only other water check is the Feraligator. So that Shaman's going to be pressured to practically tank all your hits. And when Shaman is pressured to tank all your hits, there goes any form of speed that you could have. So, yeah, I think that's, like... And especially like looking at this team, it's a very bulky offensive built team. It's very meant to chip down and weaken for this gator to sweep. And when you don't have any speed control like at all besides like Scarf Passimian, I don't see any world where it's going to make enough progress. Yeah, I mean, the, the one thing that I definitely like harped on it is that uh, both the setters and the removal and to an extent the clerics too, they kind of just all share the same group of weaknesses of like ice ground and a little bit of flying as well. And when you have, like, basically half of your team or more all sharing the same group of weaknesses and you don't really have a way to... Or they're all on one mon, I'm pretty <laughs> sure, like, Token Tomorrow is, like, the answer for everything. It just makes it to where, like, your team is linchpinned. So if one person dies that needs to be addressed, then your team just dies even faster. It's just a domino effect. Token Tomorrow is going to carry it. Just... I don't know. Okay. I don't think that this team is like one of the bottom like two or whatever and what is your reason I, my reason is that gator plus shaman plus glow bro is like extremely overwhelming for like what every one of them wants to do like okay sure shaman's like forced into a defensive role a lot of the time but it's like good for that it has the speed and it has the bulk to actually be able to take those hits and not really care about another thing having to be able to switch in. I, mean, with I don't it. mind Shaman defense. Shaman's True, but good Shaman defense. Is, but like, it's also just cannon fodder for setup, though. Nah, I wouldn't nah. say it's, 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 it's fodder for setup. I just think that this team lacks the speed control that to like get it through uh, hard matchups. Because yeah, you're relying on Scarf to Simeon. Like, Shaman. Like, the, the fact is, Shaman can usually run speed. But since it's like the only ground check, the only water check, it's going to pretty much have to run oh, like lots of bulk on both of the sides for that matter. It can't run one side of the bulk. Which means it's never gonna have any room for any type of speed. It can't be like offensive. It can't control down anything at the base 100s. Even so, it's not that fast. Like, yeah, I think the speed also just kind of sucks in general. Like speed yeah, tiers. Bad. Like, <laughs> you, you you never like prep speed for prog. Like, it's just one of those ones that you just ignore <clears throat> for the most part, at least. Sure. I think I think the one thing that this team does have going for it though is the fact that um, as Gator. Yeah, well, obviously, Gator is always going to be Gator things, right? But I also just think that this team has a, a really good way, because they does have a lot of pivot. So I feel like this team could, in a sense, if it really, like, and it almost feels like it has to rely on this, basically kind of keep jumping around and hope to dear God they get one good predict, one good D-dance, and then win the game. I feel like that's kind of the strategy for almost every set. I think Slowbroke Gal is, like, really good. I think this, this mod is, is really good, like... You know, I think it was under tiered, honestly. It is insane. It is just budget geeking. Yeah. I, I will say, I think top seven mons are good. The bottom four, I don't think, are coming to any. This is kind of. I mean, uh, this Mercury is what happened. Was okay. No. Murkrow's fine, but he has like. T -wave, right? Does Murkrow get T wave? No. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm justifying the Murkrow. <laughs> I tried. I tried. It's like when you go into standard drafts and you're like, oh my god, I need a dark type. Let me draft regular Absol. Like, <laughs> what the hell is that going to do? Game. You're a single set and that's focus set <laughs> and lead. Or you're like, that's oh, let me it. draft light part. Like, it, you don't bring them to a game. <laughs> Just because, like, you're like, you, you think people will prep, you think people will prep for it. No, if I've got a psychic type that can set up on this team, I'm not prepping for the Murkrow. True, true. Yeah, because try to teach. And on top of this, this team is like decently psychic weak for that matter. Like Toga Tomaru is the only mon that can switch into psychic that moves. And I feel like a lot of times the psychics will learn like a fighting move to hit it. And Toga Tomaru can't. Toga Tomaru's got like okay bulk. It's not bulky necessarily though. Like it won't be able to carry defensively. And Slowbro Galar, like 
I, I could just see a strong, like, special hitter really annoying this team because it's mainly relying on DNC to take special hits. Mm -hmm. Like Don Fan Slowbird Gallery, unless you want to run AV Slowbird Gallery, which is a fine set, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, let's move on to the next team, which is going to be the 10th place team, which is. The game room, Kira Pika's team. Uh, would anyone like to start off on this one? We'll say the team name's a pretty unique one, so I'll give you that much. Okay. Uh, That's where my compliments end. <laughs> well, I will say I like the the lower tier mons, like uh, War Turtle. Gabite has some play that it can run. Uh, Swoopet isn't bad in some situations, especially with, uh, with the Misty Terrain that could possibly come you can run a, a seed and that gets plus two from it which is not bad but uh i think the pz pangoro uh plus webs is extremely hard to like play into if the opponent can't really get rid of webs reliably so i think um this team is going to be super annoying to deal with uh at least offensively um so for dealing with it offensively. I don't think it's actually going to be that difficult for people to deal with it. He has one reliable uh, pivot. And it's just Vika Volt. He has one thing that's going to be able to pivot into the PZ, the Pangoro, uh, to just break things down. But they're going to get in maybe three times on average in a game. Maybe claim two kills. I, I think it's just hard to try to enable these big breakers. While the webs are strong, like that, that is the one. Like obviously, that was the plan for this team. I also feel like this team live or dies on if webs are down. Yeah. Um. My thing with this team, what I was looking at is like I just don't see a proper win condition for this team. Like a lot of your mons, like PZ Pangoro, are gonna be breakers. Then it's just a lot of bulky mons that pivot and set up rocks. There's not like a proper mon that I think can sweep late game with like there's not really the best setup for sweeping late game like if I guess Agron but like even still that's an if and I think if this team doesn't have like a pa a clear path to victory there's just no way it's going to make any progress because as you said I think the webs are too are pretty crucial to just this team's breaking because the speed is not that good Swoobat is not the best mon out there like it's got some matchups but realistically the speed is not that good so webs are like pretty heavily relied on and I think webs are pretty bad this gen just because everyone's spamming boots, everyone's spamming flying types, and everyone, uh, what's it called? And everyone runs removal for webs. He doesn't like, even have that great of a knockoff user. He has Pangor, and that's, like, basically Okay, it. that's that's a fine knockoff user. You don't even... No, 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 no. I, I didn't mean, like, bad knockoff user, but he doesn't have enough. I don't think you need more than just the Pangoro. Uh, whatever you can't pivot into it a lot, I think... Yeah, that's fair. You can't build. More... You can't pivot. I guess, yeah. I mean, I was trying to look at the positives. I mean, I did rank them ninth, but Fuck yeah. The positives, bro. <laughs> Honestly, if you're, if you're this low, you don't deserve positives. I, I do agree. I I do agree with those points where uh, I, I do feel like they should try to find some more pivot on this team because, like Berger said, the PZ and Pangoro, they kind of want to be pivoted into, and there's not enough to really warrant the, uh, well, that whole set. Also, um, you can finish, but uh, I was gonna say, um, th this team is no spidef. Like th this team is all fizz def. Weezing, Galar, Agron, Dreadagon, Gorgas. Like, like there's no spidef on this team. Elf this team will. Your best to answer to it. Yeah, there is team. nothing that will be switching it. Like take a big ghost type for example. You don't want to be swapping in PZ or Pangoro as your big response to those months. So it just hits and claims. Like that's gonna happen. Like using Vikavol in the defensive role rarely works when it doesn't resist the hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one thing I will say is they do also Pangoro can pivot, but it is not listed, but it does also get like parting shot. Yeah, what the fuck? But um, it, it's just like it, it's it's still not enough, right? Because like you're never wanting to slow pivot on Pangoro, right? Like it, it's just not something that you're gonna want to do because yeah, you don't you want him to take knock. you don't want him to take that much damage. You want to pivot into him, not out of him. And if you are pivoting out, usually it's faster, but hard switching because. Usually the counter is faster and will kill you. Yeah, true. Um, okay, well, that should be good. Uh, let's go on to the ninth place person, which is Miami Monkeys. FJ2K. Okay, DDA, I know you want to talk about Fuck this. Fuck you for drafting Clang. 
You are last because of it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why everyone ranked this team so low. I thought it was pretty good. I, 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 I think this team's fine. I don't like <laughs> Alright, let's hear it, Mr. DDA. Alright, hang on. I had it written down, right? So if you look at his resistances, like if you were to put this whole team in like a like a like a compared type crafter and you click on and off Clang, the amount of weaknesses that magically show up on his team after you take off Clang is ridiculous. The fact that half of his switch-ins to most of the types is a fucking clang. Uh, like, it just drove me nuts when I was looking at it, right? Because, like, this team can't really take, uh, like, fairy types pretty well. It can't really take, um, what, what, what did I write down? It also can't take, like, steel flying or, or a little bit of ice, I guess. But it's also just the fact of, like, your main two, like, quote-unquote bulky mons, right? Uh, you have like Umbreon and Palaswine, which both share weakness, which means that Yuxi's gonna have to come just for that every game. Wishy Washy doesn't really give you a good water type, and if it does, I mean, if it gets hit by anything, you you literally lose your water type when it gets to like when it gets to half health. Um, like it, it just like everything just kind of like piles on with the fact that this team just it barrel rolls itself into the dirt. I feel. I don't know Otherwise, why you're it, so it, it, too heavy, too top heavy for its likeness. I think, you see, like, bank blanket checks everything, dude. Yeah, that, that's what my thing, my thought on this team was, like, when when I look at a lot of these mons, I feel like they can just, even though they don't necessarily resist, I think a lot of these mons are just so tanky in their own right, they can provide the sustain they need, especially with Umbreon wish passes, and I don't think this team is too, like, wishy-washy, people have, I've seen some, I've seen wishy-washy work, you, you just have to know mm -hmm. what to run on wishy-washy, you run rest talk, you can run a lot of other sets, it's not ideal. It's not the ideal water type, but I don't think this team falls flat just because it's lost a lot of common weaknesses because of the clang. Because I feel like the defensive backbone with some obnoxious cores like Uxi, Umbreon, Crobat pivoting into Surfetch plus Zydog is like really annoying. And Drampa is a really good low tier mon. Like that mon is really solid. There's a lot of good ways to control speed on this team with a uh, glare on Drampa and Thunder Wave on the Uxi. And then you just have pretty, like, the speed tier drop is not great. Like, I mean, some people won't count Uxie. I think Uxie will run speed in some matchups. But it, the thing about this team is it has such good priority at the same time. Like, just because you only have two mons above 115, you have first impression, you have ice shard, you have extreme speed. Like, I, I think this team works pretty well. And the offensive and defensive synergy work well enough just because the mons are bulky on their own. You know, the reason why I put mine down, or this rank, uh, down at ninth was because of that massive speed gap. Like, sure, the priority's there, but everything's gonna be running adamant max HP versus this team. Like, and yeah, the speed he, is, he it, it is an issue. It, but it, it is an issue. He can offensively answer it, which is fine. But like, you do want to have some defensive answers. But he will just because of the tankiness of the mons. Yeah, but it's just annoying to have all of those tankier mons take more damage and then everything take it less damage from the breakers because they're all gonna be max HP. The problem that I had with this team was that it doesn't have like any special breakers. Physical breakers obviously get Surfetch and Zygarde, but like Uxi and Alcremi, those are setup mons. If anything, they don't really break. So I, I think can't... Drip was a fine one. Drip was Drip was so Drip cool. fucking hits hard. I, and Wishy Washy true. can also hit hard. Well, I don't know. Wishy Washy is kind of Wishy Washy is really weird. It's it's a weird mon, but Wishy Washy can hit hard and it will come to matchups. And mm -hmm. I think Drampa Drampa is an un, is an underrated breaker. That mon hits very hard. Yeah, I'll say Drampa yeah. is like a decent breaker, but I, I mean like even still, it's still really only one, and 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 still in that sense of thing like Wishy Washy, right? It's like Wishy Washy is also extremely inconsistent to really prep for as well because like you're like oh I can hit this unless I get hit by you know five things like just chip wise, and I also feel like. Um, uh, like, Surfetch is never running Defog. Drampa is rarely running Defog on this team. I, I, so I also feel like, while, like, obviously, like, Crobat does his thing, I feel like Crobat's also just roll-locked on this team as well. It doesn't one thing really have a lot of room to fucks at all. One thing I will put into consideration, uh, Nasty Bat is, like, insanely good in low tier. Like, that, that set has been running rampant in other low tier before, because it's just, a lot of teams don't have the coverage to deal with, uh, Poison, Flying, Fire, Dark, all those moves. So I think that it, it's not a special breaker because it relies on setup, but I think it does have some prowess and teams do go to physically defensively for this team. Uh, Nasty Bat could uh, abuse it. That's fair. All right, let's go on to the next team we have, which is another Tide, and this one's Tide for seventh. 
gonna be my sucks. team. So who? Oh, oh. All right, Burger, you want to start <laughs> off? I guess. Jeez. Nah, someone else can go. Nah, 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 Burger. You you said first, so you go. Listen, if EXO kept his original team, I probably would have had this at like tenth. It, it got better. <laughs> but um, um, my issue with this team. What was my issue with this team? I need to look. I, I had. There's no issues. On. No issues. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's there's no issues. Um, my issue with this team is I just didn't. <sighs> I just don't like the, just how it's built. It, it it feels too hyper offense plus just bulk at the same time. Like I don't what? like I, it's, I don't like we wheezing personally or Sableye in in. Did you team tell team. me to get we? Oh, my. it was better like than what you had. Like is what I'm saying. I, li I think the wheezing. I, wheezing. I don't. Yeah. I don't like them personally. Just on this team. You also like, just I, have a hate for normal wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> hate normal wheezing. I just think this team just lacks like an identity if, if you can take that right i just don't see what the plan is with this team like what i can tell what, you what? the identity real quick it's called someone will set up <laughs> there you <laughs> go I, like I, I honestly the, that's it, just the identity for this team is i you have like four to five bonds that all they want to do is they really want to get a free turn to click a setup move and I don't really know when you're going to do it. Yeah, I, I just feel don't like you're gonna have like, to build bulk on them just so they could survive a hit to set up. Yeah, I think the team just relies too much on being tanky, and I don't think the Mons are that good at being tanky. Like Manaphy is good at being tanky, but Manaphy it, also, it doesn't have tail glow is my issue. I, I I don't think Manaphy was even worth 19 <laughs> without no, no. without tail glow. I don't think it's good without tail glow. Like, call my Manaphy is pretty scary, but I also think it's one of those things where I think low tier has an abundance of offensive water types, which also mean which which inherently means that teams will inevitably like at least the better teams they, they will have good answers for water, water but, uh, offensive water types. So I feel like inherently they get worse because of that. I know I know it was a hardship, but this seems actually I, I think this seems pretty good. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Like, I think it, this is the start of the actual like decent teams. I agree. I agree. I think like, the last this, like, team was the pretty I decent. I still. Well, yeah. I, I don't count. I don't count them because that was above this one for me. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't like the fact that Colossal has to come to ninety percent of games because that's his only rocker, his only spiker. It doesn't have to. I don't yeah. need. Oh, I, I would no, Colossal, really Colossal, mad about Colossal that. wants to come. It, it does want to come. Setup sweepers, sweepers that can't set up a lot love hazards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I still, I still only really clicking really hated once. that though. I still really hate though that it literally Colossal is your both like your only like setup mod realistically for hazards, mm -hmm. and is also one of your main removals as well. Uh, yeah, excuse you, me, you, Prinplup. Oh, the goat. Yeah, hold on. Wait. I don't know. It's not on the list, man. I don't know what you're talking Listen. about. Listen. Okay, like, All right. We, we, well, should <laughs> we should let Exo talk about his team in case he yeah, wants yeah. to say anything about it. I mean, yeah. So I'll I'll explain. So um, Manaphy, what I wanted to do around Manaphy was I wanted to get a ground type that wasn't weak to uh, grass, and I always wanted to trap flag on, so I grabbed that. I wanted a really good grass type uh, that can also pivot, and Serena was just perfect. I also wanted more removal so then i was kind of set with flygon and serena then magneton uh resists grass and electric again for uh manaphy really nice plus it traps steel types for gardevoir boom really good steel type and there wasn't much left so perfect uh and then colossal works because i have two levitate mons on this team i have serena which can take both of the four times weaknesses that colossal has plus the primplup and the manaphy that can take those water hits and levitate mons so Perfect. Colossal's fine. Um, Sock is a great breaker. Uh, Ambipom. Uh, it has... Uh, what's it called? It has Fake speed Out control. and stuff like that. And it is fast. Which uh, helps out my speed tiers. And yeah, honestly, I, I think the team works well together. I just don't... I, I understand why I'm down here. That's... Yeah, I, I agree that the team works well together. I think the only other thing that I was looking at is this team might struggle a bit with finding six mons to bring. Because, like, realistically, you want to bring your top three. I think you always want to bring Serena, just for that, like, because it resists so many things that you need to resist. Mm. You're going to want Ambi Pumper Speed. You want Colossal for, like, the rocks. You want Sock to break. There's a lot of mons that you're going to want Yeah. to bring to matchups. But I, I think it's a good team. I like Okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, I think uh, one thing that, uh, at least from here up, definitely goes is that, um, like, I think uh, a, a big problem with a lot of them are just that you actually have enough viable mons to, you have to really decide what are you giving up. Yeah, because teams actually got better at drafting. 
Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah it sucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, All right. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Let's move on. Let's go to Marsh's team here. Uh, oh boy. Okay, me and Marsh are tied. All right. Well, so someone has a meme uh, out there so about that. All right. So you know what? I'll, I'll lead this one off <laughs> because. Texas, I, stop. Let's go. This is such a good team. I, I want to lead this one off because I, I, I wanted to grade Marsh's team objectively. Like this team is not good. Like it, it isn't physically good because it's it's a bunch of cheese that doesn't work because the walls are too passive and then you're relying fully on either multi or tyrantrum to actually win you the game everything else is just like kind of filler to help them but it's fucking marshy and some people are just gonna fold under setup and set up pressure and <laughs> not know how to break the core true <laughs> so i mean honestly boosted yeah. her team up like three ranks because of that if you're bursting marshy in the following weeks and you don't know how to fight this team it's called don't let them set up, and you win. <laughs> and that includes the Registeel. Keep that in mind. Just bring Haze. <laughs> Why is the Registeel the problem? I'm, Dude, like, you're not I'm talking not about gonna the Maractus? I'm not going to lie. I don't, see, I don't see how this team was planning on getting out of Hazard Stack plus, like, Whirlwind or Dragon Tail. Like, it, it destroys this entire team. It's true. <laughs> like, nothing can beat it. it. It stopped both of the strategies that this team is going for. Well, maybe Marsha can explain no, dude. I, I literally, I drafted the most brain dead team that I possibly could. I drafted all of the mons that like, like the high tier mons that like nobody knows how to play around. Like yeah, Tyrantrum, G last, Ty G Tyrantrum and Gmolt last season were like big kill leaders. They like absolutely destroyed the top div. Registeel, nobody knows how to break Registeel. Nobody knows how to play around Alamomola. And then like, Inteleon was there to break because Inteleon is actually the GOAT. Hmm. Kligal's just... Goat. Uh, everything else down. below that's really just filler. I like the Rapidash pick. Rapidash um, is good in low tier. Rapidash is extremely good. Uh, I'm also running Banded Maractus at least four times uh, this season. <laughs> it's four times. If Marsha <laughs> does it, we're unmodding. That's okay. Uh, I'm running against DDA. Ooh, yeah, speaking of, I mean, Marsha already pushed her free, post. That's a free fucking win. I man. already gave you my pace, didn't you didn't give me the pace. You no, 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 I will. I'm, I'm like... I'm You're gonna like... give me your pace? <laughs> All right. So, who else wants to talk about this team? Exo, what, uh, what's your opinions? Well, it's my matchup, so I'm not gonna say much. Okay. So, um... I mean, overall, Registeel Aloe is super annoying, which was the reason why we moved up Registeel again, but then someone moved down Aloe, so it just kind of negated that, so whatever. <laughs> um, Tyrantrum, Moltres Galar is like... They're marshy mons anyway, so that kind of makes sense. Um, Inteleon's strong. Honestly, the lower tier mons are good. I do like Swalla. Um, okay, no, you don't. I do no, like Swalla. I do. <laughs> hey, no, it's two points. I like it. I mean, it's a cheap poison type, but uh, it comes That's from... That's the only reason I drafted it. Cheap poison type. Yeah. I only would draft it because it's got a nice gif. I, honestly, I almost drafted it just for the cheap poison type. It's it's Four not points. bad in two points. If it was three, I'd I'd kind of be like, okay, maybe, maybe not. But... Throw is also not a bad mon. I think throw. throw the issue, was under, the under issue objectively with this team is if anything subs versus this team or just phases this team, nothing beats it because this team has nothing for sub. I no infiltrator. That. Throw was my first. You don't think I'm running banded Reggie still banded Alamomola? Okay, I know you're gonna run offensive investment on Alamomola. But like, it's still, it still can't always rely I'm running up. offensive investment on every mon. <laughs> yeah, even that Maractus. Yeah. All right. Fire team, Marshy. Very, 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 very offensive cool team. Offensive Aloe. This is an extremely good team. Okay, Aloe literally has to run offensive, uh, offensive investment it in matchups. It, it literally gets subbed on otherwise and it loses. <laughs> and it has, like, it has the, the bulk to run, like... It, it has, has the, the bulk. To, it has the bulk to run like stuff like life or abandoned and stuff to where. It no, that, really that's not why I can run life or abandoned because oh, it has regenerator. Oh. Regenerator too, but natural bulk as well. It doesn't really care it about. It doesn't have natural energy. bulk. It has HP. It has HP. Yeah. That's still it something. has the blissy effect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Marshy's team sucks. It is an amazing. Fucking team. other burger. It should be lower than Exos, but because dragons decided to troll, it's tight. Uh, dude, why, why, can we please get dragons in the call to explain why this is the first place team? Yo, uh, wait, wait, I want to see if he wrote a description for mine. I can. Do you want me to read it off? I think I, if, if I remember correctly, dragons was like, I, I think it's funny. It's he said, like "My that. personal favorite team. It's got everything: great offensive capabilities, strong defensive core, viable hazards, 
not much removal, but it's good removal. The worst thing is that this team has weak pivoting options, but an overall threatening team. What do you mean good removal? Does like play it off? Pivoting, pivoting is literally <laughs> backwards. <laughs> this is the one team that doesn't need pivoting though, because this yeah. team has hard switches and then Mons that want the free switches. I also still have pivoting. Yeah, for some reason, Intellion's never pivoting. Now Mon is clicking its hydro pumps. Oh yeah. Moltres is setting up, Rotom can pivot, but... Wait, finally a mod that Marshy can use Light Clay with. Inteleon. The fucking Clay doll. Screens wait, Inteleon's wait, dog wait, shit. Do we ban Light Clay? No, Light Clay on Aurora Veil is the only one that's banned. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, let's okay. get on to the next game. I don't want to talk about Mercy's team anymore. We gotta, we gotta go, go to the next one. Uh, Kyrax oh, Crooks. There's no way Kyrax above me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. No way, dude. Um, this team is awful. This team's a, it's pretty good. All right. This team the, is not awful. The, the this top... team is definitely not awful. Dude, I hate this team. No, I... Marshy, give it to us. Yeah, yeah. You don't okay. want to explain. Okay. I have to read off my notes. Okay. This team is awful, and that's it. Congratulations, you've said the same thing again. <laughs> almost. I almost. No, no, okay, okay. Yeah, I almost. It has the Roman East and Fortress. This team is awful. Okay, not it's wrong. Not that bad, not there, but okay. No, it meant everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, this team is just, on paper, it's just a good team. Like, there's not many, like, realistic flaws besides, like... I mean, yeah, I think Aromatis and Fortress are both pretty bad. But I think a lot of the mons, like, Sigaglyph is fucking insane. That mon is in so annoying just to prep for. Okay. And I think a lot of the mons just... I think this is just such a nice, bulky offensive team. You got some really nice, fat, bulky pivots that can uh, apply pressure like Pert and Rotom, and Dragalge for that matter, because it can flip turn, just in getting your breakers, Entei, Tauro, Sigaglyph, uh, anything. I think it will work pretty well. The issue like I have with this team is I just think it will eventually struggle to start switching into some hits, because it's very reliant on being ahead in momentum, and if you're behind in momentum, you're in a... Not the most favorable spawn, that's the issue with Aromatis and Fortress, is they're just big momentum killers. Yeah, true. Honestly, the reason why I even have this as low as I do, which is 7th, which is probably a lot lower than I would have done it before, but the reason why is kind of like the two biggest things for me is the fact that um, this team does not have a switch in for any flying type ever. Nothing on this team can switch into it, period. Like, yeah. just period. And the the thing is that like in low gear is something that I like said earlier is that like rock ice and flying are the three types you have to pay attention to because they ruin every low tier team. Flying types especially. Yeah. Flying yeah. types especially. Another thing is that did you know that the only knockoff user on this team is fucking Bollaby? So I, I, it's literally <laughs> the only knockoff user, which means that literally any team that like it just is a low tier team that usually knock off is denies half their team he doesn't have an answer for he, he can't really do much about it so yeah. uh, and like just that like it's a weird it's a weird weakness that you don't normally think about but it's just one of those things you're like well, what are you supposed to do you can't deny their item strategy at all which is one of the big meta games within pokemon itself yeah that's fair let's get exo's take uh well i like Entei Rotomo. Um, they kind of cover each other pretty well. Yeah, uh, that top is pretty good. No, I hate them. Swampert and Rotomo, again, pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Trigalogy is strong, but can also be a wall. Fortress is kind of there yeah. to with hazards and hazard setting and stuff like that. I mean, it's there. Um, you got Wish Pass. I mean, you have basically, you have everything that you need. I feel like this is a nice, compact team. Obviously, because it has nine mods, but it's very compact, but it has everything that it necessarily needs. I don't think it's bad at all. Uh, it's definitely in the top six for me, but uh, yeah, top six in general, I guess, so. Okay, I actually have a team that actually only has nine mods. I will also I, build on that one point of where she got. Alright, I, I had a real reason why I put this so low. So, oh, you did. I, I did, I did, honestly. Okay, Entei is like, this is the main focal point of this team. But he supported it so poorly, like, it, it, the main, like, counters for water types, yeah? So, he drafted Rotom Mo, which, like, combines the roles of both his grass and his electric type, which mm. means he has to rely on Rotom Mo to break every single water type he faces, because nothing else on his team is breaking waters. 
So NT's Dragalgy's got uh, electric. Um, it doesn't. Water types don't switch into Dragalgy. That's not a thing. Uh, uh, no. Uh, Rotom Bow is the only thing that's going to be breaking water types, and Entei's just going to struggle to do what it wants to do. I can agree to that point, that yeah. Entei might struggle a little bit. Especially with no knockoff, like, for Entei, like, as mm -hmm. you said, like, because yeah, Entei does sometimes need, like, a little bit extra. Like, Bandit Entei is good, but it does somewhat struggle to break through, open, like, when teams have waters and dragons, like, there's reason why I don't like Entei that much, but... It's literally budget Arcanine. I mean, they do different things, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the next one here. We got, uh, well, we got the Denver Drowsies? Whose team go is this? Who's that? Um, <laughs> alright. Let's see. I guess I can start with this one. So, uh, so Brello Merodactyl, very strong combination. Then you got Slowking that can pivot out into both, which is very scary. Uh, you got the Bulk with the Steelix and Muck, which, um could be kind of annoying because they both have that ground weakness but you do have two flyings you have i think you have enough bulk to to take hits um so it's fine honestly i think this team is good but it doesn't break the top three for me i think it has a solid uh it reminds me of saint's team i don't know why maybe it's just the muck but it just <laughs> reminds me yeah i mean I kind of rated you like pretty high, and I feel like I intentionally had a little bit of bias in that. Um, looking at it again, I feel like I would have rated it a little bit lower. But um, the the big things that like I, I noticed that were kind of like really hitting for me that I I should have been more mean to. But um, like the first thing is that like all um, all of your hazard removals share weaknesses, um, specifically rock. Which is that it's never good to have like all of one, uh, all of your like same things having the same weakness. Uh, your pivot is almost exclusively teleport. Uh, there is you have one vault switcher, and that's the only other difference. Um, which means that you'll you'll never really get any fast pivot. In, which, in speaking of fast, your speed is interesting. Uh, you basically have Aerodactyl and then Rotom because Kadabra can only come to some games. So it really is just uh, a what is that? A, almost a fifty drop. So that's always interesting. I just think those in in Joe, uh, which is going to make uh, your walls of Steelix and Slow King and Aldino and stuff just have to take a little bit more damage than they probably want to. All right, I'll I'll give my two take on this team. Um, I don't think it's that good personally. Like I I actually didn't think it was good just because I don't think Bulk is necessarily the best option in low tiers because I feel like there's so many good breakers and there's not a lot of good ways to fulfill your core. I I think. The thing about my team in specifically is it's very functioned not around playing in an offensive game is the issue because a lot of my mons are uh, most of my mons do have the natural bulk and aerodactyl is what you what, what we call speed control for this team because you can't have i need some sort of speed control on the team um my issue with the team is it's, i fucking hate knockoff like it's so annoying for this team i don't have any mon that wants to actually lose their item because all my f i have so many mons that want their item and all my resists don't like like muck doesn't want to lose its item clefairy does not want to take it like it's not good in that matter and i also struggle a lot with finding the mons i want to bring to a game like there's a lot of mons i can bring on this team because all of them will have their own uh uh own their own ways they want to come in certain matchups the thing i liked about my team specifically is just because i feel like a lot of my defensive mons support each other well to where i won't think i can get overwhelmed too easily because i feel like a lot of mons will run into fourth slot move syndrome trying to break uh the combination of just slow king Muckalola, Clefairy, Autono, uh, Altaria. Um, that was my two take. I, I think the defense is what's going to carry me, and I think objectively it's not the best, but I don't know if everyone's going to understand how to break a defensive core that you can't just toxic, because I am not weak to toxic. Yeah, plus Regenerator Krogelberry. I have Regenerator, and if you see down and below, I think that that is four clerics. That is indeed four clerics. And I have a Poison Heal, Breloom, and a Muckalola, and a Steelix. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I think all of like the bad players are going to get absolutely farmed by the team because they're going to have no idea how to break through this and then they're just going to get cleaned up by Arrow. I feel like there's going to be like a weird divide where like there's going to be the teams that like understand how to approach this team will almost have like a free ride because they kind of know what to do. Mm -hmm. But the teams that don't have an idea or their team doesn't support it, right? Like that's another thing too. It doesn't matter if you know what you're doing. If your team can't support the idea, then that's not going to help either. I think that's what really like the real trouble is going to be. 
I think this team bullies other bulky teams, like my team specifically. I think this team no, is this absolutely, absolutely disgusting on bully teams because this team isn't too passive. Yeah, like no. my mons, some mons would could seem passive, but a lot of them have moves like encore and knockoff to really mm -hmm. support, so it's not too too bad. They can also just do enough damage on their own. Like Breloom hits hard, Slipkin can hit hard, Muck can set up. I'm not sure Even if that's still. the case with, with like Clefairy and Audino. Not Clefairy and Audino, yeah, of course. Clefairy and Audino. Yeah. They, have, they, have, they have support of their, their own. They both have T Wave, they both have knockoff. Encore, yeah. Encore. I think I also like Altaria here a lot. Altaria is literally just here to force a bunch of mid grounds because mm -hmm. it, it just covered up a lot of weaknesses that I didn't necessarily want one resist for. Like, I didn't want Arrow to be my fire check and I didn't want only Sloking to be my pivot. It just makes it harder to make predictions. But as I said, if the knockoff is just the most free click against this team, that's what I hated the most about it. All right. Okay, we swear it to two. Next, we got. <laughs> Kinky Cartanas, Noir, okay. Uh, so some people have hot takes. Uh, it looks like Burger has Dude. the hottest take at ninth. So uh, do you want to start with this one or do you want someone else? No, to I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't look too hard into this one. I, I just don't think this team has the backbone to win games. I, I think it's too reliant on Hale to force any fo to form of progress. Like, it is so reliant on Hale to force anything to happen. Nothing is happening in this game otherwise. <laughs> because at that point, you're just wishing up and passing into like only one Mon that can actually do some damage, which is Talonflame. And even so, Talonflame doesn't do much damage without like an SD up. Um, and well, yeah. Well, she shares the same weaknesses that Atrazolt does. Like, like, <laughs> like, like Art is good. <laughs> It is insanely good. Arthazol in Alola Ninetales is a good core. Oh, yeah, I just... it's, it's a good core. It's just it, they, it's uh, it's just not gonna be able to like it, they really have to be careful because oh what's your hazard removal? So basically, hip on top is a giant. Just if that thing takes too much damage, the game's over because you're like you can't really run defog on Talonflame unless you're gonna be running that, which then just kind of takes away what Talonflame wants to do, and. It, it just it, like with the little removal of hazards and how ha how much hazards just kind of ruin this team as well. It's just it's gonna be. There's I just feel like there's too many things gonna add up to be a problem. But the, because of the offensive core of just Hail Go Burr, so you know I don't know. Yeah, Hail yeah. is just it, it's so annoying to prep for offensively. But I don't personally like that as your only bit. Like you can't just rely fully on Hail. People can counter weather. Yeah, mm -hmm. Whether it's not as broken as you think it is in low tier, unless it's sun and water and sun and rain. Yeah, no, I put this team so high up because last season I used hail, and there were so many teams that just absolutely folded to hail. <laughs> um, like it is insane, like how many kills Arjizel just farms for free because people just don't know how to play around it. People yep. don't know how to like run protect and uh, everything else to stall at hail. I think that yeah, but the was... issue is that's the only thing you're prepping for offensively. Yeah. No, you can prep for the town flame, and you also have to prep enough stuff to break the. Big yeah, so you're, I'm board. prepping my ground type. Congratulations. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Okay, your ground type is getting absolutely destroyed by the Hellcore. It's getting destroyed by the Vaporeon. I hate to tell you, there's just too many 50-50s this team's going to have to make for our result to actually yeah, like, be able to that force some progress. This team like, is bas basically going to be can they out. Play. 50 50. <laughs> yeah, can they help? Whenever Arkizold actually it's gets rope. in, whenever Arkizold actually gets in, it basically guarantees two kills. At no, because no, he has to do a 50 50. He literally has to play 50 50. Hey, there, people you have, know, you if you know how to stall him. Yeah. yeah. Like, you literally, like, you put a 50 50 plus protect. You get two tries. You might get one kill. <laughs> because Hail is good. Hail is good. I just don't think you can synergize the entire core around it. Wait, is Icy Rock banned? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Oh, oh Rocks, yeah. Icy Rock is banned. So, Hail Hail is realistically, this Arctos is going to most likely okay. be manual hailing itself at the same time. This oh, is a lot more underwhelming than I thought. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Marshy, you should have known yeah. this. You ran it last season. Dude. I Marshy's not a good mod. <laughs> I'm Marshy's not. Like, I'm uh, not I went the rock with no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go back. <laughs> um. Uh, I think Vaporeon's like really, really good here, and it holds his defensive core together like entirely. Okay, can't have a defensive core if you have no offense to back like, it up. I feel like Vaporeon is a band-aid to a bigger problem, and I feel like Kip on top is like the super band-aid that is starting to like peel. <laughs> yeah. In a sense, I I can see what it's what this team can do, but it kind of feels like you're kind of praying because a lot of things are weak to fire. End rock, 
And it's like, I mean, you're going to have to switch in your Vaporeon and Muzdale as your defensive core, but if one of them dies, you lose to either Rock or Fire. So it's like, what do you do? I feel like, uh, I almost feel like this team just kind of dies to like sub protect with like a fighting and fire type. Uh, sub toxic protect. <laughs> oh. Yeah, honestly though, I, you can't really do much against that. True. Like, just, uh, like if they get a mon, like, oh god, I just feel like this would be cancer, right? Because you, you set up sub when you're trying to set up hail. Oh, Salazzle would be so then... AIDS for this. Oh my god, oh. Salazzle would ruin this team. <laughs> Okay, we can go on to the next one. Alright, let's go on to the next Draft one. Better. Oh, bad team, bad team. We got DDA's team. Ooh. Ooh. Unfortunate. Right, yeah, what are your Marshy's bad take? <laughs> Dude, this team is actually Ace? so Holy bad. Holy shit. Marshy, um, Marshy has to rank DDA bad just by... Marshy yeah. literally will refuse to rank. Yeah. Even if I have, like, every broken bond in the game, she'll, like, Marshy will still refuse no, 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 to rank. No, 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 no. I, actually, I actually have real reasons this time, okay? So... DDA has to start me, bro. Oh yeah, I gotta starve me. That's like, uh, I, I get an upgrade. Okay. Um, Upgrades, people. So, so my, my biggest thing on this team is that, like, it has absolutely no breaking power whatsoever than the Rhyperior. Like, and, 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 like I, I guess I guess you can count Heliolisk, but nothing else is really breaking through the defensive course. I really don't agree with that, but... I, mean, no, uh, I, I agree with Marshy. I don't think this team needs breaking to apply <laughs> much progress. <laughs> I don't see a world in where a team that's full of pivots and mons that can hit hard enough to where it's going to need something that's going to plow through mons just because the mons just work well together. Yeah, and I also just feel like, I mean, like, I'm not going to toot my own horn or anything, so I'll only say, like, one thing, but, like, just realistically, like, the... This... Any... any Like, literally, this is one of those teams where if you let... Like, if you slow down slightly, you just lose. Unfortunately, that's just kind of how it works. And that's all I'll say. It's definitely Actually, a team well, that kind of surprised me. When you drafted Azu, I was like, why are you drafting Azu? But it does fit here with Thick Fat for like oh, Noiver. Regular Azu is like actually for really annoying. Sap Sipper for like Rhyperior. <laughs> like, it, Azu actually does fit on this team. Gives me Thick Fat, so it gets me a four times resistance to the it's, ice. And a, it's and a, a bulky and water. Like, you know, if you yeah. hate to say it, it's a bulky water. It can run, so it's got Scald, it's got Knockoff, it's got like the coverage for a bulky water. Like, yeah. in this team, like, the, the thing about this team, realistically, is, like, the Rockers, for one, are just insanely good. They are both super reliable. Like, Rhyperior especially. That Mon forces so many switches. And you can get Rocks up. You can apply pressure to any of the Mons that will realistically counter you. And then you just have these Mons that just pivot. Noivern, you have Incineroar, which can just does a lot of damage in its own right with moves like U-Turn, Knockoff. Heliolus just does damage. So, like, there's just too many Mons that I think apply enough chip to where this team doesn't need a Breaker to necessarily... Like, Noivern likes a Breaker, but this... Rhyperior is a breaker for one as well. That mod hits like a fucking truck. I mean, th I there is a problem more. here, though. Oh. But yeah, I do agree that it does lack like, of immediate say. power. I do agree that it does lack a bit of immediate power. I don't think it needs it. I, think I don't think it needs it either. But I mean, <laughs> offensively, it's, it's okay, like, specially, but, like, I don't know. The thing that I wanted to bring up, though, was... The speed goes from 100, which is Mr. Mind Galler, to 60, which that might be bad. a problem for, no, like, anything awful. above 60 but that sure. doesn't want to care about the top even three. I don't even know if Mind Galler is sure, coming that, to that, Obviously, that, that's, like, one thing in there. But, I mean, I, I'm, in my mind also is one of those things where, like, that if I'm going to have a problem, I'd rather be back. <laughs> no, 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 it also hurts. Burger's claim where like you just spam U-turn, spam volt switch, and uh, whatever. But everything below 100 speed is gonna be running max HP. Yeah, and it's gonna take zero damage and just uh, regen it back off with lefties. Like, I, I don't see how your team is gonna be able to get enough chip to be able to do whatever you want to do with Rhyperior, break I guess, Spex Heliolus. I do. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't see a world in where you don't think a team can get enough chip when it has so much mods that do it that can do natural damage that don't need to pivot. Well, my point with the pivoting is these are mons that can pivot, but also just do natural damage on their own, right? Yeah, I don't. The, literally, the only mod in this team that can't really do "quote unquote" natural damage on itself is my Toja Dick, and even then, that. it actually can still hit decently hard. <laughs> like, it, it's just one of those things where like, I think like half of these mons, realistically, 
four switches. So like, it doesn't matter if they have HP or not. They can't stay in. It doesn't matter how bulky you are. Half of them will still take half or more of their health. Just mm -hmm. because they're there. No, I can and it will still hurt anybody who switches in each time. Yeah. I think I think we set our points, yeah. Agreed. We can mm -hmm. go on the next one. Alright, next one's gonna be the Vicious Volcarona's Checkmates team. Okay, this team was actually a team that I was gonna draft like this time, which was Heracross Swellow, but I saw Manaphy, I was like, hold up. But, Heracross Swellow is scary offensively. Like, it is hard to prep for because of how much breaking power they both have together. Um, because you can't just bring a ghost because Swellow breaks that with Scrappy, so it's like, and there's also a Chandelure there. Um, the only, the biggest thing, the biggest gripe that I have with this team would be that it doesn't have a dark type, if unless I'm blind. But other than that, I think the team is solid. Uh, what do you guys think? I think this team is amazing. Dude. I built the top half of this team. I'm gonna suck myself up hard for that because this, the the top five they just works so cross. perfectly together. Heracross is so good. He shouldn't have it. That he should. Mine. Nope. <laughs> You're, uh, you're a genre, the that one was thing that I did notice while looking at this team is two big things. One is that uh, aside from Klefki, there's not really a rock type switcher. And two, this team just naturally is kind of physically defensively weak. Um, like, Sandakata is kind of your best quote unquote physical answer, or maybe just like Max Lantern realistically, but like. This team just in general doesn't like physical attacks in general. Like, it's a hyper offense good. team. He doesn't need to. This is not. That, that was my not, not, this this is is not, not hyper offense, but it no, is. This is not hyper offense. This is not offense. hyper offense. That was my issue with this team. The top four to five is good. The rest of it is just too passive for it to really support your top five. Like, you have pivot with lantern and you have spikes with keys to support it, but the rest of it is just too passive to actually help anything out. Like, Hypno, like, I'm sure it's DDA didn't harp on it, now I'm a dark type, but... Oh, I brought it down, but someone already mentioned it, so I didn't have to. <laughs> but, uh, th this team is not... I think Jack's team is good, just in the terms of how he built that top half, because it, it, it's got that offensive power that you're looking for, but it's just too passive on the bottom half to support that... to support your breakers, necessarily. Like, I, I don't want to bring up point... I don't want to bring up... Should I bring up games that have already happened? No. No? Okay. I just don't think, especially with his top six, like if he does lose, if he does lose control in his passive months, like just for instance, a set of it just looks so fucking annoying for this team because he doesn't have the best. Like, I don't think his scarfers are that good. I don't think Shandy's the best scarfer in low tier. I think a lot of times you're going to be running specs, will o wisp uh, sets in Hera. You and they don't wanna... really have a lot of pivots, so they're going to have to. Yeah, that's what I mean. The pivot's not good. Well. And the pivot's not. They have the two pivoters. Okay. One of them is Swallow, which doesn't want to click U turn almost ever. Yeah, so Lantern and is the reliable. It's just Lantern, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess Hypno, but... <laughs> yeah, and Hypno's just... It's just too passive. It's too passive to support it. But it's a good team still. I still like it. Yeah, yeah like, it's... That, that's, like, the the funny thing about this is that there there is glaring... There, like, there is not glaring, but obvious weaknesses, but it's still fucking... It's still hair across well. That, that, yeah. that top three is, was, is literally <laughs> nightmarish to prep for. It's yeah, so hard to switch three of those. It is impossible to switch it. I don't think there's any thing that can just switch into all three of them together. I disagree. Uh, Eternatus, Eternamax. Oh, we go. <laughs> uh, True. I mean, like, if we're, like, obviously the point of it is not to where all three can switch at the, to the Pokemon at the same time, but I oh, do feel like teams that do have answers for all three of those will have a better time if they can break the rest. Mm -hmm. I think the team needs more pivot options yeah. for the lower. I think the team needs pivot in the, in the bulkier mons, so it's not passive Whoa, anymore. whoa, Hypno oh, has Teleport and Baton Pass. No. If he was coming okay, to one game. Okay, uh, Exo, how, what, uh, Mon having more than one pivot option really only matters <laughs> in, in certain matchups for type of diversity. I'm yes. Warning, when it's pass and teleport, it does not matter. <laughs> yes. I, I am warning you, This the, the, the big thing about this team, it, it literally, the top five will come to every game, and then you need removal. You can't not bring removal with Swallow and Chandelure. Yeah, so, I mean, I almost feel like it, like, Cryagonal comes more than Appleton. Yeah, it does. Unless yeah. Klefki's bringing Defog, no, if he's bringing spikes. But if Krefki's bringing defog, then it means he can't put spikes down. Or if it does bring spikes down, it does. It, it spikes just... plus defog stupid on Klefki. 
Yeah, it is extremely. No, dumb. just put but put spikes really on your hair across. You're fine. It's like running rocks, defog, Lando T. Like choose one. <laughs> Make up your mind, dumbass. Honestly, it's, it's kind of productive. No, you just put spikes on hair across. Come on. No. True. Never. And then of course the next one is the undisputed number one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the this. Undisputed. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Okay. So first solo. All right. So this is what happened. So solo was like, all right, you're picked. Uh, you're picked first. I'm picked twelfth. Uh, what are you grabbing? So we kind of talked about it, and then he's like, "Yo, what if I go Blaziken Meloetta?" And I just sent him my uh, my AOM team, and I'm like, "Blaziken with Meloetta, yes." <laughs> and then he did that, and then he's like, "Then just grab webs, yes, okay." And then, uh, then it just just looks like a solo team because it's super offensively uh scary. But solo loves uh, like offense with like two really good defensive mods. Yeah, basically. Really good. He's got no really yes. good defensive mods. I'm not gonna lie. True, which is why it's not really like his is it's a little bit out of his forte. I also think Copperage is a shit mon. And I, what? I just have a personal I just have a personal I just have a personal vendetta against that mod. I think it's ass. Copper but... is ass. I I've I've tried using it even in standard. Like it, it does not fill it just doesn't fill the role that it wants in either of the scenarios. No, I think yeah. it's a fine mob. It's fine, yeah. especially with AV, no. and it has some good resistance because the steel type. It hits like a damn truck. It's, it's it hits good. hard, but it, it doesn't really take hits thing. very well. Its HP is Papa super Raja is better low in low tier. It, it's a little bit better. Oh, it's low better than low tier. He, he doesn't need to take hits well. Okay, so Honestly, the, the differentiator between this team and Shex team is he's got offensive synergy that can pivot into each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Honestly, this team good. isn't passive. That's the one. That's the what makes this team the better offensive team. And what makes this team just an obnoxious team to prep for? Because just look how well Comfey can like enable a lot of these mons just by U-turning. Yeah. Like on the poison and the seals, you get in something like Meloetta. You get in something. There's just so many mons that you have to prep for realistically that you're gonna struggle to really find a way to actually check all of his mons. Because I think people are. I think a lot of time in draft, one of the biggest issues people fall into the hole of thinking they have to check every single mon. That's not gonna happen. No. And if and solo, unfortunately for these teams, has good speed <laughs> and yeah, he's got finally. good priority <laughs> yeah. so I mean, I he's not gonna really avoid the... about super hard revenge killers because he revenge kills back and just based on the natural like how fast and offensive his team is he's gonna win an offensive game and defensive teams can't defensive teams just cannot win versus months like Pompe, Distitui, and uh Meloetta. they just don't work against those months well yeah, I mean, really, the only thing that, like, I could even, like, figure out that I really didn't like about this team specifically, I mean, like, obviously, speed's one thing and, and stuff like that, but, like, the biggest thing that I gripped on was that this team can't really take fire flying extremely well. I mean, your only fire switch is realistically a Raquinid or Blaziken itself, which you don't want to switch into. Yo. And then same thing where for flying, you're really only switching is Kaparaja, which Kaparaja doesn't have the best special defense. I mean, it's, like, like sub-50 or something like that. So, like, it's just one of those things where, like, you know, uh, I think, you know, defensively, obviously, those are going to be problems, but his offensive core usually can kind of take care of it. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those things. Okay, Marshy, do you want to... Uh, no, this team is nuts. It... I... I can't Why do we let him get pick anything else? whatever pick he got Blaziken? Yeah, no, Blaziken was one of the best models Blaziken in the entire well. draft. <laughs> See... The reason why, I, I don't know, Blaziken covers Meloetta so well, it, it hits the darks, the bugs, the, uh, what, what type am I missing, is that, am I stupid, the darks, the bugs, uh, <laughs> <that> <laughs> Meloetta. Yep, I mean, that's, I guess that's it, um, but the thing is, if it goes for Relic Song, boom, there's two, two scary fighting types, there you go. Well, only one is on the field. Well, yeah, well, you know Plus, what I mean. I don't, I don't think a second f uh, fighting type actually helps this team, given they already have a flag type weakness. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it helps. No, I don't think there's much need for the pirouette form. There's so much physical power. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that. I don't think you. I don't think you. If you think Melowet has a good matchup, it's likely the Blaziken will also have a good matchup. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Well, into that same role. If anything, but, I mean, it's, it's something to prep for. Yeah, I mean, like something to keep in mind, but the it's 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 gonna be niche compa in comparison. Yeah. But okay, I guess that's it for Mega Agron. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I guess if you guys are watching the next one that will be uploaded, it will probably be Agron. So uh, we will see you guys then. Bye bye. Free me.